And that time the world team did against that pressure. Archie Goodwin, get it back on top. Mohammed, he's not afraid to take that shot. Leans in with that left hand, can't get it. Bennett with a rebound and gives it up quickly to Mahalik. Wiggins with a floater with a right hand. Andrew Wiggins, whose father, Mitchell Wiggins, of course, played in the NBA. He is the youngest player on the floor and ranked number one in his class. And I think he gave you an opportunity to see why on that play there. Leo Westerman gives it up. Wiggins lets him fly for a three. They're going to call it a two. Not only did he let it fly, he played with it a yep. little bit there. And nice jab step to create that jump shot. Here is a young man that has come to play. I mean, in the open court, he goes and attacks the hole under control. Nice little floating jumper. And this play here, watch him set up the defender with the jab step. And then, boom, right in his face with a big time three point shot. Andrew Wiggins, the number one player in his class ranked right now. That says he is the best in the world in his class right now. And he is an exceptional young man. We've spent a lot of time with him over the last three days. Down at Muhammad with four of the five points. Mihaila gets a step on Goodwin. Wiggins for a three-pointer, and he is fouled on the play. That'll be three shot foul. Any coach in the country will tell you, you never ever foul a three-point shooter or a jump shooter for that matter so tough play but Wiggins again sets the play up because he jab stepped and hit down the last jumper and all of a sudden he gets a defender running at him and he takes the hit and he's at the line for three and right in front of Kevin Boyle who was trying to tell his defense you've got to watch this guy there's a good look at Kevin a very successful coach 23 years at St. Patrick in New Jersey Moved to Mount Verde this year and more, had an outstanding season. Has a great class coming back, but he was screaming, guys, you got to rotate over and watch this kid. Well, no kidding. If you remember in practice, here was somebody that was a great communicator, teacher, and mm -hmm. motivator. Tusha number 14, Tony Parker, comes in out of Atlanta, Georgia, in the suburb of Lithonia. Three by Wiggins, no good. Sarge can't get it. The pressure needs to be pushed up and then get out and run in transition. Wiggins gets hit as he lets it fly. Sarge can't hold on to it. It'll belong to. Tough on defense. Knock down open shots, almost like they just continue to clone those guys at Michigan State. Tom Missel talked to him earlier, and he talked. Out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Again, he's best at attacking the basket. Great athleticism. Gonna be a great addition for John Calipari at Kentucky. And that won't go, but we've got a whistle and a foul. Suleiman, another one of those very intelligent basketball players. You know, very smart in the classroom, smart on the court. He plays hard. When you talk about teams reloading Duke and the prototype Duke player, Duke point guard, there he sits again. I'm very impressed the way they just continue to reload that system with exactly the same piece that they lost. He's going to be pass it. He can dribble it. He makes the right plays. At six foot eight, he does all this. But again, a defensive lapse as Wiggins just slashes right through. Remember, Wiggins is 17 years old. Yeah, but he's playing beyond his years oh. right now. He's, and on the other end, Wiggins is just an outstanding athlete. Plays above the rim. Play tremendous explosive athlete, long that can block shots. And Wiggins, though, comes right back and answers it. Wiggins with a dozen points in the ball game to go along with three rebounds. The inbounds pass. It's funny, says when he played for his dad, he didn't like it when he was younger. <laughs> just really kind of bugged me. So, but now he knows. And you're heading off to Arizona next fall. What did you like about Sean Miller's program? Um, you know, going so far away from home, I really wanted to, um, you know, have that home, homely feel at, uh, at Arizona. Um, so, you know, I, I really felt comfortable with Co Coach Tom Miller and, uh, and the whole coaching staff, everyone. Several times, you know how small we were. They become a from a small team to one of the biggest teams now in the Pac-12 Conference. And that is a spark lock concern because he has an unbelievable game. He gets set with the speed. He can attack the bucket. He knows when to jab. Watch this jab step. That's an NBA jab stepping up a la Kobe Bryant. And then again, he finishes. He's such a great athlete. He knows and knows how to play the game. He knows how to set you up. He can shoot three. He can get to the hole. He has a phenomenal basketball game. I can imagine where he's going to be in a couple of years. I like how active he is. 
Inside, Wiggins can't get it to go. Bennett knocks it around. Sarge to Bennett, he loses the handle again. Here comes Goodwin's got Mohammed on his right. He loses the handle. Well, he probably should have gave the basketball up. And again, when you talk about the skill set, what an outstanding play that was. <laughs> Noel. <laughs> That's his second block of the ball game. And Kyle Anderson comes up shaking that left wrist. You know, he's such a good shot blocker. The reason for that, he can use both hands. That time he blocks it with his left. Or the double high ball screen up top. Wiggins lets it fly. Noel comes down with a loose ball. Speed to push it down the floor every time. Whereas the world team, they are attacking and they have the opportunity to get numbers and make basketball plays. I tell you what, I'm impressed with the passing of Sharich. He finds Dalia again. Bouncing just around the corner where he might be attending. Can you give us any insight? <laughs> well, we're going to still really talk about that. Uh, we're going to figure it out this week, and then we'll make a decision. So it should be it should be interesting. Thank you. Mm -hmm, thank you. I guess we know it's not USC, guys. <laughs> I narrowed it down to skill set, and I don't think that's the shot they want. No. Wiggins comes down with a rebound. Loses the handle. It'll belong to the world. Go out with a slam. Got to get some easy baskets. Wiggins, though, comes back with the three. Okay, Ron, I'm going to tell you, Wiggins can shoot the three. Yeah. Take it away from him. <laughs> the long rebounds are leading into some fast transition by this world team. They need more movement, more ball movement, player movement on that end of the floor. Wiggins does a nice job of just lowering the shoulder to get Suleiman out of the way, but he can't get the shot to go down. Ball will belong to Team USA. When he also announced a nine-point game. Kevin Boyle wants the pressure, and they're getting it. Westerman tries to dribble away from it. Fans wanted a walk. Wiggins for three. <laughs> Mohammed, no. Wiggins the rebound. They'll go the other way. The lead is seven. This is the closest the United States has been since very early on in this ball game. Wiggins, a lot of dribbling, and Harris just reaches around, count the basket, and a foul. You know, again, this is all set up with the pick and roll. USA needs to maybe switch this, even though it's a mismatch on the switch. They're having all kinds of problems trying to guard this. He comes off the pick and roll, comes right back in, and gets around the defender. On ball defense has been lacking in this game. Gets him into his shooting pocket right in the lane, and the and one is right there with the reach around. And he misses the free throw, but the pet has to be one of the most priceless things I've ever seen. I think we need to give that to the guys who do the Maverick games and just let them use that for a half time too. Been in the lineup for the world team. Also checking back in, Horace Yogella. Jay Lynn inside. Nice move. Got Noel up in the air. Got comes through in a big way. From straight Jesuit College Prep in Houston, Texas. Boy, his energy has been outstanding oh. in the last five minutes of the game. Just creating havoc on the floor. Wiggins off balance shot. Jay Lynn, the put pack. Off from the outside. Nice job by Anderson. He gets up very slowly on the far end. Rejection by Wiggins. And I think Anderson's gas tank may be empty. That shot last time was blocked because of the spacing on the floor. Those two guards are too close together. Wiggins ends up playing Harris and then goes off and gets the block on Rashid Sullivan because his feet set. <laughs> For the last couple of days, he's knocked down three-pointer after three-pointer. alley -oop to Wiggins, and with that, and Mohammed with the air ball. Runs well, too. He, he runs very well for his size. Once again, he's a seven-footer. Wiggins, that's going to be a blocking foul against the United States. Sullivan tried to get position on that. Well, he tried, but Wiggins is such a skilled basketball player. He just turns on the Jets off the dribble and just creates the body contact right there. He knows he was going to create. He knows he's moving. That's just a smart, heady basketball player on Wiggins' part as well, too.